Hey, this is Dino, and I'm going to walk through getting um, a JWT from a JWT issuer, and we're going to use Go Google for that purpose. Now, what I have here is just a web page that helps me build the URL that will be used for requesting um, an, a JWT via OpenID Connect from Google, from the IDP that is Google. Um, so the OpenID Connect spec uh, provides a uh, description of what a URL should look like for kicking off the authentication, uh, the token request flow, the authentication and token request flow. And basically, it use a base URL. There's a client ID that the client app must pass in. Uh, state and nonce are optional but recommended. And then a callback URI, which is just the OAuth 2.0 callback URI. There's also response type and scope requirements, and there's some different options there. But we're going to put in ID token because that means JWT, and we're going to put in Open ID, and uh, maybe we'll put in profile. All right. So uh, at this point, this is the URL. Now, an app wouldn't normally go through this, you know, building. Basically, this URL would just be designed into the app, whether it's a mobile app or a web page app or something like that. So now we have the URL, and if I click it, it's going to open up a new uh, web page with a sign-in. This is actually kicking off the authentication. Google has now validated that the client ID that was passed in is a registered client ID and is going to allow me to authenticate with my Google ID. So uh, a long time ago, I registered my Hotmail account with Google uh, for a Google account, and I have a password. Uh, and what I'm going to, you'll notice I'm going to put, I'm going to click stay signed in. So after I sign in the first time, uh, I will be, uh, I will remain signed in. All right, so I got the password correct this time. Uh, I've actually got two factor authentication set up with Google, which means um, Google's not going to permit this authentication unless I put in the correct two factor term. So I'm going to go do that. And as a result of that, Google is now calling back to my callback URI with the um, ID token, with the JWT, which is this. Lots of stuff in here. Uh, hard to read, but it is uh, just base64 encoded. And if we drop it into another website, jwt.io, we can actually have a look uh, very easily into what Google has issued in the JWT. Um, and here is the payload data. So it's a JWT, the issuer is Google, um, the subject is this, the audience is the client ID, I believe, that I passed in, and then some profile information about me, the authenticated person, Dino Chiesa is my name, here's a photo, uh, given name, family name, and so on. Uh, interesting, uh, we've got an expiry, so if I flip over, and that's a time in Epic, so if I flip over here to a, um, a uh, terminal window, I can drop that time in and I'll see uh, that it looks like it expires in about one hour, one hour's time. So this token is going to be something that I can use for an hour. Now let's suppose that it expires um, and the token disappears. So what I'm going to do is flip back over to this callback URI window and just get rid of it. So now I don't have that anymore. Um, but what I do have still is this um, sign-in URL, the, the um, URL that kicks off the, the OpenID Connect flow. If I change the nonce and the state uh, and get a new URL so that those things, you know, you kind of want those to be independent. And now if I click this kick off URL again. If I if I do a get on that URL again, what do you think I'm going to get? Am I going to get an authentication? No. This browser still has a cookie set in it, which says that um, Google knows who I am. My identity is set in the browser. So that exchange is happening in the background and Google saying, all right, we already know who you are. Um, we're not going to require a new uh, authentication event. Uh, but we will um, just honor that and issue a new token. And you can see the expiry is now um, some time later. And if I open this up in the shell, you'll see that it's a few minutes later. So I've got a new JWT with a no-touch experience. I have not 
uh, as a user had to authenticate again. That's it.